My name is Charlie Reardon. I'm a member of the Division of Urogynecology at Women and Infants Hospital and Alpert Medical School of Brown University. This presentation is based on the publication entitled Economic Burden of Urgency Urinary Incontinence in the United States, a Systematic Review, published in the Journal of Managed Care Pharmacy in February 2014 by Karen Coyne et al. Pfizer Inc. provided funding and editorial support for this study. This presentation was developed and produced with funding from Pfizer Inc. The International Continent Society, or ICS, definition identifies overactive bladder, OAB, as a syndrome of urinary urgency with or without urgency urinary incontinence, UUI, typically with frequency, eight or more micturitions per 24 hours, and nocturia in the absence of obvious pathology or proven infection. OAB and UUI in particular have a significant impact on many dimensions of quality of life. With the aging of the U.S. population, the number of individuals with UUI is anticipated to increase in the coming years. This retrospective literature review was conducted to summarize the economic burden of urgency urinary incontinence in the United States on society and patients, including direct, indirect, and intangible costs. A PubMed search of literature on economic burden of UUI in the United States was conducted between March and September 2012. The search encompassed publications between 1991 and 2011 for relevant articles of studies conducted in adults. Search terms included urgency urinary incontinence, urge incontinence, mixed incontinence, overactive bladder, burden, cost, and economic. The criteria for inclusion or exclusion of retrieved studies were established a priori, and independent review was conducted by three reviewers. Studies with data on direct costs, indirect costs, and or intangible costs were included if they provided costs specifically for adults with urgency urinary incontinence only, or mixed urinary incontinence, or adults with OAB with urgency urinary incontinence. Overall, 63 publications were retrieved from the PubMed search, and two additional studies were identified in references of the retrieved articles. 58 articles were excluded. 32 did not report on UUI. 14 were focused on surgery or treatment outcomes. 11 were reviews, and one assessed neurogenic UUI. Seven peer-reviewed studies with U.S. cost data were retained for qualitative analysis and summary. Cost data were adjusted to 2012 U.S. dollars. The seven studies reporting the economic burden of UUI in the United States included national and patient-based prospective studies. These studies varied by analysis models, patient populations, and cost components. The most recent analysis by Gans et al. in 2010 reported overall annual costs of $73 billion, adjusted to 2012 U.S. dollars, which includes $56.9 billion in direct costs and $16.2 billion in indirect costs. Direct costs included physician visits, diagnostic, treatment, surgical, physical therapy, pharmacologic, routine care, and consequence costs. Indirect costs were lost work productivity of the patient. The average annual per capita cost in this analysis was $2,132, $1,660 in direct costs, and $472 for indirect costs. Hugh et al. published two reports on direct costs for UUI. According to the analyses from these authors, total annual direct costs, diagnostic, treatment, routine care, and consequence costs for institutionalized adults ranged from $3.8 billion to $4.7 billion. These authors reported annual costs for pharmacologic treatment for community-dwelling adults of $280 million. A 2001 publication by Wilson et al. reported total treatment, behavioral, pharmacologic, and surgical costs of $2 billion, 4% or $80 million of which was associated with UUI. Three patient-based studies provided insight into the direct costs of routine care, such as pads, diapers, laundry, and dry cleaning, and intangible costs reflected in willingness to pay, or WTP, for incontinence improvement. In a 2007 publication, Subak et al. reported a mean cost per week of $7.08 with a mean annual cost of $368 for direct costs of routine care for UUI. An analysis from the same group in 2006 reported a median cost per week of $7.72. WTP for improvement in UI frequency or reduction in UUI symptoms 
was reported in two of the patient-based studies. Subak et al. reported that patients were willing to pay $550, $691, or $988 per year for 25%, 50%, or 100% improvement in UI frequency. O'Connor et al. indicated that based on their analysis published in 1998, patients were willing to pay a median of $109 per month for a 50% reduction in UUI symptoms. It should be noted that in these studies reporting WTP, the dollar values far exceeded the routine care costs. Limitations to this review should be noted. There is wide variation in studies related to the cost of UUI in the United States. Such studies are based on different analysis models, different populations, different cost components reported, and different prevalence estimates used in modeling and economic burden estimates. These issues should be considered with interpretation of reports on the economic burden of urgency, urinary incontinence, and OAB. Cost studies may have confounding data for OAB without UUI or other types of UI, such as stress UI or mixed UI, that can limit generalizability of study results strictly to UUI. The studies included in this review were published between 1998 and 2010, and the individual reports did not have costs standardized to comparable U.S. dollar amounts. The authors of the review reported costs adjusted to 2012 U.S. dollars. While studies reporting the economic burden of UUI in the United States vary by analysis methods, populations, and cost endpoints reported, a consistent finding is the considerable economic burden associated with this condition for individuals and society overall. A wide range of economic burden associated with urgency urinary incontinence was identified through this retrospective review. The overall economic burden is driven largely by direct costs. Total annual direct costs range from $3.8 billion to $56.9 billion. The most contemporary study included in this current review estimated a total annual cost of $73 billion, which includes $56.9 billion in direct costs and $16.2 billion in indirect costs. Patient-based studies emphasize the considerable direct costs of routine care for UUI, $368 for mean annual cost in 2012 U.S. dollars, and a willingness by patients to pay substantially more than routine costs of care for a 50 to 100% improvement in UI frequency.